Happy birthday to the Mineral Belt Trail. Shelter from the storm. Stoles. For 20th century gold diggers, these timber wedges likely saved many a miner's life, supporting the underground walls and protecting laborers from falling ore and debris. Today, 21st century recreationalists who use the Mineral Belt Trail enjoy a different type of protection from these historic pieces of lumber. In honor of the MBT's birthday, celebrate with an interesting story you may not know about the wildly popular nearly 12-mile non-motorized trail which meanders through Leadville's iconic East Side Mining District. Along the route are four shelters, a welcome sight when the afternoon storms roll in. Upon closer look, the unusual materials used to construct the 10-foot by 10-foot structures tell their own tale. They are made from stoles which explains their unique size and dimension, a shape not usually found in most lumber yards. But like many neighborhood garages, stacks of leftover stoles began to collect in the corner of one Leadville legacy family business, waiting for the next chapter of life. After all, it was still good wood. The early years of planning and creating the Mineral Belt Trail were truly grassroots, requiring public and private handshake agreements which sometimes included neighbors sitting down with neighbors they hadn't spoken to in years. But on a beautiful summer day, July 29, 2000, the MBT was officially open to the public. Since then, the user experience has continued to improve, including the addition of four shelters. That's when those well-stacked and stored stoles got another chance, providing protection for a new kind of treasure hunter, hikers, bikers, and skiers. There are four shelters along the non-motorized trail. This video is about Chad's shelter, found in the southwest quadrant, between mile marker 10 and 11. Chad Smith brings this story full loop. He was the son of Dick and Charlene Smith and would have carried on the fifth generation of the Smith lumber business, which started in Leadville in 1900. Sadly, Chad passed away in 2013. Soon after, Smith Lumber closed its doors in July 2014, marking the end of an era. You see, it was the Smiths who saved all those stoles at the family business located at 910 Hemlock Street. After more than a century of providing timbers for mining operations and lumber for new homes, that stockpile of wood was impressive. And proved to be just what was needed and certainly in the budget as the Mineral Belt Trail moved forward with its plans. With the materials secured, it was John Heron and his crew with above-edge roofing that built the four structures. They were installed by Lake County Public Works. So take a loop around the Mineral Belt Trail on its birthday and keep an eye out for the stole structures, where they still stand today, providing shelter from the storm, 